Hi, this is Tara Marina with Elegant Femme, and welcome. Welcome to uh, Deauville. So if you don't know anything about Deauville, Deauville is actually the first place where Coco Chanel opened up her, her little storefront. And she was selling hats and little pill boxes, and eventually even the little bottles of Coco Chanel she was gifting for free. Very smart woman. She had a very uh, strong New Yorker, Coco Chanel, if you don't know anything about her. She was gifting the little bottles of Coco Chanel Number no. 5 to the soldiers that were coming over, and then that became the gift for the soldiers to bring back to their wives overseas. So, welcome. In fact, I've never been to Deauville before, and I feel like I should celebrate. I should celebrate being here. So, I'm going to... I'm going to celebrate. You know? I'm going to celebrate. It's time to celebrate. It's time to, like, you know, feel like, wow, something amazing has happened. I'm going to... I'm going to pop this open, and I'm just going to celebrate. Right? No. Not for me. Not anymore. So, here's my intention in sharing this with you, because I want to be really, really clear on what my intention is. My intention in sharing this with you is that you allow yourself to start to consider what it is that's really serving you in your life. And I talk a lot about the yes and how important the yes is. And I'm also really clear on my own life how important it is to start saying no to things that really aren't serving me. And when we say no, sometimes it's scary because sometimes we've been habitually um, trained by society of our, or our families to uh, do things a certain way. In my family growing up, uh, and, and again, perfect family, perfect environment in every way to grow and evolve. For me growing up, it was a lot about we would, you know, you have a glass of wine when you're celebrating. You'd also have a glass of wine or a drink at a funeral or if something had gone really, really bad. So sometimes we have these habitual patterns inside of us that we've grown up with, either from our families or from society, that we recognize as we're evolving and as we're waking up to a new level of consciousness, they really don't serve us. So a huge one for me, and what I want to share with you today, is particularly about, you know, I stopped drinking, stop drinking, stop drinking, why stop drinking at all? Now again, my intention in sharing this with you is not about telling you to stop drinking, or it's not against anything, this is just to share my insight and my own personal experience to have you start to think and reflect on what are the things in your life that are no longer serving you, where you've actually um, outgrown them. And again, when I say that, it's not a superiority stance of, oh, I'm too good for that. It's in your consciousness, you recognize that it no longer serves you. This takes a lot of courage. I'm going to share with you exactly how I arrived at this um, decision for myself. And I'm going to invite you, before we're done with this quick video, to actually do the process yourself and start to reflect, because this is what it's about, right? This whole journey for us as women is about learning. It's about reflecting on, on how we are um, showing up in the world, on the, the choices that we're making, the behaviors that we are allowing to influence us, and how it affects us as a woman. Are you showing up in the world in, a, in the way that you want to show up? So when I tell women, or when women know that I, I no longer drink, they, oh my gosh, but wine, wine is such a sensual experience. How could you not drink? And I really, if someone would have told me I would have moved to France and stopped drinking, I would have told them they were cuckoo, cuckoo, like the best Bordeaux, the best uh, Côte du Rhône in the Champagne region. I mean, come on, right? There's a level of elegance here when it comes to that, that, that flavor. Now again, for me, this isn't about drawing a line in the sand and say, I'm never going to drink again. I don't know. I'm not going to forecast or put myself in a little box. I'm just going to share with you how I made this decision. For me, living a sensual life is about living life more awake and more engaged. At the end of my evening, now those of you who have been to our Beautiful for Life event or any of our events, those of you who have worked in, in even the Power Sensuality are aware of the Femme Flow List. Something specific we do every day to connect with each of our Femme types. Well at the end of my Femme Flow List I started to write, wow I'm so grateful and so thankful that I chose not to drink today. Hmm. And all of a sudden I started seeing that that was a common theme in my Femme Flow List. And I thought, wow, Whenever I'm noticing something in my fem flow list that has made me feel good, I ask myself a deeper question. Well, would I consider doing that all the time? So say, for example, in my fem flow list, I say, uh, oh, I'm so grateful, so thankful that I worked out today, or that I did Pilates, or that I played soccer with the boys, or that I um, journaled, for example. And if I start seeing a pattern that, whoa, that makes me feel good, I will consider adding that into my life on a permanent basis. I will consider adding that into what we call part of our custom template. Because the women that I work with, we create a custom template and we know what serves us. 
Right? That's what it's about. We're all unique. So I made the choice that, and with the help of my husband, he was actually the, a very much of an instigator on this, to stop drinking. Why? Because I liked myself better without it. Now, does this mean I was a, 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 a over the top or excessive with it? No, I mean, from time to time we would have a, a couple parties. And then it was, it was what, yeah, you know, you know those mornings, right? We had that. But it wasn't something that was very consistent that way in my life. But at the point I am in my life, and at my commitment to my evolution, I want to be conscious. I want to be alive and awake. I want to be engaged with my life. I want to like myself. And I was recognizing that I liked myself better when I wasn't drinking. That I had a more uh, free and liberal connection with who I was and, and the connection with my kids and I was more present and I was just more there. So for me. So the reason I'm bringing this up, and here's what I want to ask you, is where in your life could you be, could you be more present? Where in your life are there things that perhaps are no longer serving you? Where in your life could you sit down and reflect and at least be aware of? And those of you that are doing the Femme Full, this is a perfect, perfect um, process for you to do in there. But where in my life, if you know, maybe you're watching too much TV. Maybe you're watching the news and it's like, God, I've turned the news because it's a habit, right? First thing in the morning, CNN or, or whatever it is. And you're like, yeah, it's not really serving me anymore. Could you be brave and courageous enough to stop doing that? Maybe it's having a conversation with a family member and that family member doesn't really, for some reason, there's, a, there's not a resonance, there's a negativity. Could you, you know, change your, your pattern and, and stop doing that? Maybe it's junk food for you. Maybe it's fast food. Maybe, I mean, it could be anything, anything that you recognize is no longer serving you. Maybe, this is kind of a funny one to bring up, but maybe you recognize that you really like to make your bed. Right? This is a big thing for my Frenchie. I, I like a made, made bed. And maybe you're not making your bed. I don't know. You start making your bed and you're like, wow, right, that's serving me. This is about making conscious choices for us as women. Conscious choices that really serve us and allow us to further expand into the world in a way that's uniquely us. And your femme types support that process. So here's, here's, that's what I want you to reflect on. That's the process that I want to have you engage in before the next time that we all connect. And I want to hear from you. So where in your life have you said no to something and it... Um, it helped you grow. It helped you expand. When in your life, maybe it was a job, maybe it was an old relationship, maybe it was a friendship, maybe it was a way of eating, maybe whatever it was. I'd love to hear from you. Where is it, what is it in your life that you said no to, that you made a conscious choice like, mm, that doesn't serve me anymore and I want to hear from you because we all are on this amazing traje trajectory. Is that right? trajectory of growth together as women and it, it's those subtle nuances. It's those subtle changes. It's those um, defining decisions in our life where we say, you know, well, I'm going to redefine who I am and that particular thing no longer serves me. So I'm going to go out in Deauville and uh, play around with my boys. In fact, we're going to go down to the indoor pool and I'll tell you more about that later because if you've ever seen the movie Cocoon, I'll just, I'll, I'll leave it with that. We'll tell you maybe more about that next time. So reflect on what it is that's no longer serving you and I will see you soon. Bisous, bisous, bisous. Au revoir.